I think it was... Uh, oh. I think it was uh, writer Pat McCormick who did this line once. A lot of, a lot of guys have, have appropriated the line in reference to Don Rickles. He said he called Don Rickles once, but Rickles was busy. He was out walking his rat. <laughs> uh, I don't know where it came from, but uh, would you welcome Mr. Warmth, Don Rickles. You know, these kind of nights, uh, as Bert has said, uh, and Buddy has said, and uh, Ed talked to you briefly, with accolades of, uh, you know, like 11 years, and it makes uh, my, uh, my starting on The Tonight Show with you, yeah. it's, like, uh, it's like everybody's back there saying, gee, you got to do good, and you got to wish Johnny luck, or, you know, what have you, you know, which we all do, you know. But I, uh, observing in the back, say from the bottom of my heart, Johnny, you're a very wealthy man. <laughs> Remember what happened last time you said I that? I know that, but yes. uh, I don't mean it in that sense. Uh, the good Lord has blessed you and your family and your lovely wife. And you're... Thank you so much, Bert. <laughs> Bert is lonely. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's a very difficult thing when uh, Bert Reynolds, who's a very glib guy, a Buddy Hackett, one of our great comedy minds, and... Ed McMahon, who's at the end of the couch, annoying, <laughs> annoying buddy now saying, can't you use me in Vegas? Uh, <laughs> I mean, Ed knows and I know, Johnny. Yes. You don't have a friend. <laughs> you have me, John, because I still feel you're hot in the business. <laughs> My career has come a long way. I am uh, 47 years of age. You're 48, I believe. No, no, I'm 47. You're 47. We're the same well, age. We're the same age. Wonderful. So when the good Lord, when we were both born and we came from our mother's, God looked down and said, make him rich and make him struggle. <laughs> and uh, it turned out that way. I'll be off in a minute, Bert, and then you can show this outfit. <laughs> but, uh, I like Bert. You know, the, the first when, when you were away... Don't you like me? Huh? Honestly? Yes. No. I see. <laughs> no, I adore you. I know that. You gave me an opportunity. You even had me... He had a little party the other night, I must say. In fairness to Buddy and Ed and Bertie, had a party uh, for your anniversary. Well, it wasn't really. Wife. It was just happened to fall on the same day. No, you were married a year to Joanna. That's right. Correct. Your lovely wife was not here tonight, unfortunately. She's in New York with her organ and monkey. <laughs> oh, don't go. Oh, oh, oh. He's the first one that laughs. You should see his wife. She said to me tonight on the phone, when, when is Johnny coming home? <laughs> No, that's a joke. Of course it is. His mother's in Nebraska going... <laughs> <laughs> Again, we struck out, Pop. <laughs> but uh, she's, a, she's a lovely lady. Yes, and she uh, is. Uh, Johnny uh, had a little party, Bert, and uh, Buddy at, at Chasen's. Uh, I can't say that. Buddy was, was invited. He couldn't I be there. Invited. And Bert wasn't in town. I couldn't I wasn't make invited. it. You, were, you, you weren't invited? No, you were at the Dinah Shore cooking show. <laughs> uh, we... Uh, <laughs> Now, he, he goes out with Dinah Shore, well, who's a lovely that. man. I know you know that. This isn't a test. I know you know that. Well, I read. Why are you talking to me like I don't know? Because you annoy me. That's oh, it. <laughs> but, Bert, you, were you invited truthfully, Bert? Were no, you, he wasn't uh, in town. He was not invited. Now, don't make a big thing. You said to me, why invite a cowboy dumbbell to one of my parties? <laughs> said this guy with the two-fisted karate baloney at the party. Ha, ha, ha. We don't need that. We're all lovers. And you danced. And, Johnny, this is inside. For God's sake as Jack Benny would say. And Jack was at the party. Yes, he All was. All the biggies. Freddy DeCorvita. How do you say that? Huh? You kept mispronouncing it all night at the party. De Cordova. Wonderful. Look at how the crowd got excited. <laughs> Look at that. Two guys in that row dropped their pants and fired a rocket. Which, which, which two guys? <laughs> Where is that? The fellow sitting next to the black man up there, right? Yeah. Don't, 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 don't press, John. You don't have to press you. This is your show, and it's 11 years, and we all came here. We're I'm... missing a football game. Uh, probably the Detroit Lions are on the 50-yard line. And uh, what's that quarterback's name, the kid on the Lions? Alvin. 
No, no, no. You don't know football. The Rams are doing great. What's that quarterback? You played football. Landry, right. Yeah. Landry going, hot, red on blue, hot, set, hot, hot. And the wife's saying, are we going to fool around? Shh, they're on the 50-yard line. Hot, set. And this is a big night for me, and I gave it all up to... Just to be here. ...be here on your 11th anniversary, and Dean was great. He happened to be standing on the corner, and somebody said, Psst, you got a minute? And uh, he just wandered in here, and it's an exciting night. But Johnny, really, I say it's uh, our Jewish New Year. And as Buddy can say, as, uh, as a fellow uh, uh, Jewish well, man, not that, not that that makes us better than anybody else. I mean, even well, though I you did that. take Christmas from us. Uh, we, uh, <laughs> now I can see good Catholics and people all over the world writing in saying, why did he say that? Facts. <laughs> but, uh, but what I say is this, that uh, we, uh, this is our new year. I'll be off in a minute. <laughs> Then you can show everybody your dad's home in Florida. Well, His dad's a sheriff from Florida standing on the highway going, can you get me a lift? <laughs> anyway, uh, so... What it, year is this? I know it's 5,000 and something. What, well, who cares? What are you, in the Florida? <laughs> no, but I just wondered what officially it is. Well, it's a dead buffalo on a monkey's ear. 57... 15... 7... 57... 34. Wonderful. 57, get your winning ticket and go home early. <laughs> I mean, he says it. That's before our generation. I mean, that is our year, really. We take the Rams horn and we go, da -da, da -da. Vikings come in and burn the synagogue. <laughs> but uh, look at that. The black man went, I didn't know that. <laughs> but what black man is that? Where that's is over I, there. The I, black oh, man I, over there. I, I if didn't. it isn't a black man, teeth are coming towards I, I see. I didn't. <laughs> couldn't see him sitting over there. But you say there's one sitting there. There's, there's one sitting that's there. That's right. Hey. <laughs> For the money we're getting and for the lineup you have, you ought to start kissing our Fig Newtons. You know that. But I'd like to say on behalf of all One people... One thing I don't need, it's another wet Newton. <laughs> what were you doing 11 years ago? 11 years ago, yeah. I was in the lounge in the Sahara Hotel, yes. and I owe that to a guy called Stan Irwin, and my manager, Joe right. Scandori, and I was in the lounge... And we used to do a show at 5 o'clock in the morning. Right. And that's the first time I met you, and you sat at the far bar. Now, true? Now, they think I'm kidding. Mm. We had met before in New York, before right. you got this. That's right. When you had the daytime show, hit the clock, win a cookie. No, no. <laughs> hit the dime, no, hit no, the no. buzzer. No, no, what no. was that dumb no, no. show you, you had? Well, it was called Do You Trust Your Wife. <laughs> you heard the crowd? Yeah, well. <laughs> Everybody watched. Kept me going for four years It there. sure did. And meanwhile, I was up in Connecticut at the Red Lobster, watching a lobster come off the table. <laughs> Don't do that, I'm Jewish. Anyway, but anyway, uh, anyway, folks, segueing. Uh, 11 years ago, I was in the lounge, and I'll never forget when I met you. And you sat at the back lounge, and I got so nervous, as I am tonight. For the first time in the history of The Tonight Show, I say with honesty, I am nervous. Nervous, not in the sense of worrying about my security as a performer, but because it's a, like an anniversary, a special night. I'm being very sincere about this. And I must say to you, Johnny, on behalf of my family and myself and all your fans, and this sounds like a, uh, you know, like we said in no. the army, yes, I know. making the nose go purple. Uh, the guy went, don't go purple. But uh, what I'm saying to you is, I thank you, I thank you for making my family and yours truly get a little bit up the ladder. And I appreciate it. Well, you didn't have to say that. I want to tell you. One night he's working in the lounge in the Sahara. And of course, he's hilarious. And everybody that was anybody in town that meant anything come to watch him. People, guys would cut their show so they can get out in time to watch him. I mean, he was the biggest draw, and r customers couldn't get in. They, everybody wanted to see Rickles. And one night he gets a guy at the bar, and he's saying to him, Come here, Nazi! Bite the stick! Kiss the ring, Nazi! Come here, Nazi! Hey, Nazi! Nazi! I'll show you this, Nazi! Stand up! And the guy stands up. Rickles on a stage. The stage is seven feet tall. The guy stands up, and after he stands up, he's not on a stage. He's eye to eye with Rickles. <laughs> and Rickles says to him, hey, you want to spit on a Jew? 